What if I told you that China just launched a foldable laptop that doesn't just bend, it breaks the rules? In just one week, this device has racked up over 170,000 pre-orders. And no, it's not from Apple, Samsung, or Microsoft. It's from Huawei, the same company once blacklisted by the U.S. government, now rewriting the rules of computing. At the heart of this shift is a sleek, foldable laptop powered by Harmony OS, making headlines not just for its specs, but for what it represents geopolitically. This isn't just another product launch. It's a moment that signals a shift in global tech power. Huawei dropped two new laptops under its Harmony OS ecosystem, the MateBook Pro and the MateBook Fold Ultimate design. But it's the foldable that's turning heads. Over 125,000 pre-orders for just that model in under seven days. That's not buzz, that's a movement. So what makes it so special? Let's start with the software, Harmony OS. Unlike traditional laptops that run Windows or Mac OS, this one is powered by Huawei's own operating system. It's not based on Android. It's not Linux. It's an independent tech stack built entirely in response to U.S. sanctions. Designed for seamless integration across phones, tablets, wearables, and now PCs. This is the first time Huawei users can experience a truly native cross-device workflow without relying on American platforms. Files, apps, messages, workflows, all in sync without third-party gatekeepers or cloud lock-in. But let's be honest, this is more than just software freedom. It's strategic autonomy. Chinese users aren't flocking to Harmony OS just because it's convenient. It symbolizes something deeper, resilience, independence, and a chance to move beyond Silicon Valley's influence. And the hardware? The MateBook Fold Ultimate design isn't just thin and foldable. It's a futuristic workstation. Fully unfolded, you get a 17-inch OLED touchscreen, big enough for real productivity or creative work. Fold it, and it becomes a compact 12.8-inch laptop, complete with built-in keyboard and trackpad, elegant, powerful, and smartly designed. Huawei's hinge technology appears more advanced than its rivals, reportedly enduring over 100,000 folds without visible wear. And inside? Up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte storage, and a custom high silicon chip optimized for this form factor. Battery life is estimated at 12 to 14 hours, thanks to AI-powered screen adaptation and power management. But the real magic? Usability. You can start editing a video in tablet mode, fold it halfway, and switch to typing. No crashes, no reloading. Harmony OS is context-aware, adapting the interface in real time. Ideal for productivity, a dream for creatives, a portable studio for professionals on the go. But again, this isn't just about tech. It's about geopolitics. Since 2019, Huawei has been under extreme pressure from U.S. sanctions, losing access to Google, Intel, Qualcomm, and most global chip suppliers. Many expected the company to collapse. Instead, Huawei doubled down. It launched its own chips, its own OS, its own cloud. And now, with the MateBook Fold, it's offering a full-stack alternative to the Western tech ecosystem. On state media, this device is already being framed as a national victory, proof that China's high-tech self-reliance strategy is working. And consumers are responding, not just out of patriotism, but because the product is genuinely compelling. Early reviews from Chinese tech influencers praise its Apple-level craftsmanship, with smoother multitasking than Windows laptops. Now consider the competition. Foldable laptops have existed before, Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Fold, Asus's ZenBook Fold, and Microsoft's now-abandoned Surface Neo all tried. But they struggled with battery life, glitchy software, clunky hinges, and steep prices. Huawei seems to have cracked the formula. A seamless fold, a stable OS, a complete ecosystem, and, critically, a lower price point. Chinese consumers are getting a flagship device for under $2,000. That's hundreds less than Lenovo and Asus models priced closer to $3,000. The big challenge? Global expansion. For now, Harmony OS laptops are China only, blocked by legal constraints and export restrictions. But if Huawei can find ways around those barriers, through joint ventures, local chip manufacturing, or partnerships across the global south, this could shake up the global laptop market, just like Huawei once disrupted smartphones. Let's not forget, Huawei was once the world's number two smartphone maker, ahead of Apple. If the MateBook Fold catches on internationally, it could do the same in the PC space, especially in countries looking to reduce dependence on U.S. tech. Zooming out, this is about more than just one company. It's about a global transition. For decades, 
global computing was defined by three names, Microsoft, Apple, Intel. But that era is ending. We're entering a new age where countries build their own tech stacks from the ground up, OS, chips, cloud, all local, all controlled. The Matebook Fold is a window into that future. A future where users are no longer stuck choosing between Windows and Mac OS. A future where geopolitical tension directly shapes the tools we use every day. A future where the next big breakthrough might come from Shenzhen, not Silicon Valley. And beneath this laptop lies something even more critical, the chip war. Inside the Matebook Fold is a high silicon processor, rumored to use Huawei's new Near 5NM architecture, designed without access to TSMC, Intel, or Samsung. If true, that's a massive feat of supply chain independence. Recent teardowns of Huawei smartphones already show chips made using SMIC's N plus 2 node, roughly equivalent to 5 nanometers. If similar silicon is powering this laptop, it means the U.S. sanctions failed to stop China's chip development. That's why U.S. lawmakers are considering secondary sanctions on SMIC, ASML, and Chinese chip packaging firms, because this device proves that China didn't just survive, it advanced. And unlike Apple's M-series chips, Huawei's design is rumored to focus on AI inference, local compute, and low thermal output. Ideal for running on-device LLMs and AI assistance without US-based cloud services. Now add this. Harmony OS is moving beyond Android. Huawei just announced Harmony OS Next, a fully native system, dropping all Android code and building on custom compilers, system libraries, and app frameworks. This is China's version of iOS, a tightly integrated, self-contained national operating system. And now it's coming to PCs. The implications are massive. Huawei is building an entire digital world without Google APIs, Microsoft SDKs, or Apple's rules. A new generation of Chinese developers is emerging, writing native apps that run across phones, PCs, wearables, cars, all built on one unified toolkit, all hosted on domestic infrastructure, with Huawei Cloud as the backbone. And while U.S. tech giants are debating AI subscription tiers, Huawei is building an entire civilization of code. Now, how do global rivals compare? Lenovo still depends on Windows, Intel, and NVIDIA. Its foldable laptops are bound by third-party pricing and supply chains. Samsung dominates foldable phones, but in PCs, it sticks to traditional designs. Dex doesn't cut it for serious work. Microsoft gave up on foldables with the Surface Neo and now focuses on AI assistance like Copilot, but lacks its own silicon making tight hardware-software synergy impossible. An Apple? No foldable Mac. No touchscreen Mac OS. No announcements. Why? Because the ecosystem is built to control, not to adapt. That's where Huawei has the edge. Not because it's richer or faster, but because it's freer to reinvent the rules. Still, ecosystems live and die by apps. And Huawei knows this. They've rolled out their own IDE, with native support for Java, ArcTS, C++, and a custom UI framework called ArcUI. Over 800,000 Harmony OS-compatible apps already exist, many now being ported to PC. If Huawei can get giants like WPS Office, AutoNavi, Tencent, and ByteDance to go all-in on Harmony OS for PCs, it will be the first real threat to Windows and Mac OS in two decades. This is no longer about surviving Western dominance. It's about creating a parallel tech universe from scratch. So where does it all lead? Imagine this. Two years from now, Huawei releases the Matebook Fold 2, now with a 3 nanometers Kirin X chip and a built-in Chinese LLM-powered AI assistant. Harmony OS next becomes the default OS for Chinese government, schools, and banks. Vendors across Southeast Asia, Latin America, and Africa start importing Huawei laptops as low-cost alternatives to Windows machines. Western OEMs scramble, but can't compete on integration, cost, or independence. At that point, it's no longer a race. It's a paradigm shift. Because when we say this foldable laptop will destroy the competition, we're not just talking specs or pricing. We're talking about dismantling assumptions. That only Silicon Valley can innovate. That open source means Western control. That hardware could be global, but software must remain Western. Huawei is proving otherwise. And it's just getting started. So now, we want to hear from you. Would you switch to Harmony OS for more performance, longer battery, and full cross-device syncing? Will the U.S. tighten sanctions 
to slow Huawei down? Or is it already too late? Is the momentum unstoppable? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives on tech, power, and the future of global innovation. Because if one foldable laptop can make Washington nervous,